Hello, I'm Kat Woods. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a um, what is and how to video, basically. I don't know how I want to title this yet, so that's why I'm saying it like that. Um, how to use your commentary. What is a commentary? What is the difference between a commentary and a concordance? A lot of people um, ask me that question. It is kind of a confusing, um, I guess, explanation to type out. So I figured, you know what? This is a very, very highly requested video, so I'll go ahead and put it out there. I do notice there's not a lot of videos on YouTube explaining any of this, so I am greatly, greatly, greatly honored that you guys come to me for all these questions, and I do hope I can go ahead and answer them and just help you, help you with this, you know, question. So, um, if you're sitting there with the commentary, you look at these rows and rows of just verses and you're like okay what do i do with this this right here is a commentary this is from crossway and when you open it it looks daunting you're like wow so this is just page after page the words are in alphabetical order but what do i do with it right so i just did a review over my matthew um henry commentary and the same thing with that. That one just looks like page after page over the same exact thing. But I promise you, these are tools. These are very, very, very important tools to any, any student of the Word. If you want to dive deeper into the Word of God, if you just want more help and more insight to help you either get a Bible study together, if you're stuck on a, on a verse, really, if you're just stuck on one simple little verse, you want to know more about it, pull out your commentaries and um, concordance. I will show you which one to pull out when. Okay, so I know that's that's the problem. It's like, so if I have a a, um, a concordance, do I need a commentary? Yes, they're two different things. There's nothing similar about any of this besides it all contains to the Bible. That's the only only um like sim similarities that these two have. Okay, so. Um, I will go ahead and let me let me knock out this concordance real quick so we know what, what we're talking about. The concordance is you pull out the concordance when maybe you're doing a, a Bible study. You're writing down a scripture and you're like, you know what? This reminds me of another scripture. I don't know what scripture. I don't remember what book it was in. Either, you know, nothing like that. But you do remember parts of the scripture, okay? Because we all know Psalms 23, that's a scripture we're going to look for in this, okay? I, I marked it already, so you're not having to see me, you know, rustle through all these pages and stuff. But um, I will just give you like a layout of it. Now, it is in alphabetical order, so we will go from A to B, all right? So, as you can see here, in the bold... Just like in the back of your Bible, if you open up the back of your Bible, most Bibles will have a concordance, and it looks just like this. You have a bold word, and in the bold word, under it, we will have scriptures, and you will have like the letter B, so that will be where the bold word will go to. Next to it, we will have scriptures to go look up, all right? Still clueless on why we need this, what this is for? All right, so like I said, um, you... you needed a scripture right now we're looking up shepherds we want something um we're just i don't, I don't know the reason besides we're just going to look up shepherds all right psalms 20 um 23 1 okay so we're going through here we're going to look it up and where was it oh wait that was my my personal <laughs> okay so we're going to look up the word shepherd because we know in psalms 23 the Lord is my shepherd. We only need to know one word. We don't need to know the whole verse. We just need to know that one word. Right now, shepherd is all I remember from Psalms 23. Okay, so we come here and we look up shepherd. Where? Okay, over here. And then we go through, trying to keep you focused, and we go through all of these. All of these verses have, you know, the word shepherd in it. So go through and read. Like, no, that's not it. No, that's not it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. That's the scripture I wanted. And it takes you right to the verse. 
So you see how you see how I did that? You just remembered one one um word. You remembered shepherd. Now, if you don't, if you didn't um, look up shepherd, say you wanted to look up um what was the other one that I marked? Wanted. You remembered the word wanted was in there. Okay. Same thing. You come back here. Or want. I shall not want. Oops. It threw me off. So you remembered it had want. So do you see? Right there. How cool is that? So the commentary is extremely important. You can remember any, any word out of that chapter and it will find it, you know, you can find it in here. Any word. So if you want to memorize a word, if you want to pick the word of the year, that's why I say if you're just wanting to pick the word of the year and you want to find scriptures relating to your one word of the year, commentaries are amazing for that because they give you all kinds of scriptures to go off of just that one word. How cool. Okay. So sorry about that. I hope, hope that wasn't too loud. Um, so the commentary or not commentary, the concordance are super important for that. They can help you find the scriptures you're looking for, related scriptures, just off of one word. That's all you need to know. You don't need to know the full chapter, um, you know, the full, anything, just one word. That's why these are extremely important and why they're in the back of your Bible. All right, so commentaries are completely different. They're about the Bible, but they are completely different. You, um, I, I, hopefully you've seen the Matthew Henry one. If not, go back and look. This one is different, completely different from the Matthew Henry. That one is more insight, more reflection, more, I would say, think more like devotional, really. Now, this one right here is a Nelson. This is a Nelson one. This was gifted from a sweet, sweet, sweet sister. She knew I was trying to dive deeper into the Word of God, and you guys, oh, I cannot thank you. Thank you enough, sis, for this, because it has helped helped me go. I will share the um, IBM for the other one, too, just in case you guys want that one, too. Um, but, yeah, so this one right here, you guys, will go deeper using charts, maps. I mean, whew. Okay, so let me take you to the front so we can see what this all has real quick. So the different kind of commentaries that this is going to be over. We're going to focus over scriptures. Well, I don't want to say anything, you guys. You can read it right here. I'm having like a little allergy attack and uh, I'm seeing doubles of everything. Let alone through a cracked phone. Okay. And so do you see all the juicy different little subjects and boxes that it has? That's a lot of information, you guys. And it's all in this commentary. So do you see how it's different than a concordance? There's nothing, nothing the same about it besides the Word of God. All right. So it would take you through all kinds of charts, informations. This is just the, the index. You want to look up all the um, verses that it has index on? You can go through it there. All right. So let's just get to Genesis. It's right at the beginning. Genesis, each book of the Bible, so all 66 books of the Bible will have its own intro, outline, and then we get into it. There are twin themes in this Bible. And we have commentary. Now the commentary will go over insight. Insight through verse 1, insight through verse 2, but you get all these extra extra little things about it now please note this is not a Bible do not get one of these commentaries and think oh well this is a Bible this is all I need no this is just someone's insight into or of from the Bible this is not a Bible I, I do I do want to stress that so you see how maybe you're sitting there writing and um, you just you want you want more insight, more knowledge, um, a better understanding of a scripture. Maybe you want related scriptures. 
you can come through your your commentary and have all of this all of this goodies all these juicy little nuggets waiting for you you guys so any student of the Bible needs I strongly 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 stress needs to have this in their collection I mean this is just one way for you to dive deeper literally for you to dive deeper and get a better understanding of what you're doing and what you're learning so how and which um, commentary you want to use that's all on you um, I, I am greatly greatly appreciative that I am able and blessed to have both of them I, I really am because I can turn to either one for different reasons this one right here has charts more um, understandings and um, in depths and um, you know all, all kinds of different little nuggets that I can go off of but then again this one can also um, throw me off in many many different directions that I just may need to focus on one thing just the scripture for that time this is perfect this would just focus on you know book one chapter so you know so-and-so and give me a deep insight into what what I need so so do you see this is just the Word of God this, or the insight into the Word of God there's not not going to be anything extra that's going to throw me off all right I, I hope I hope that's making sense you still I strongly recommend both of them not saying this one will not have um, insights into locations insights into you know all that I'm not saying this one does not have that just because it doesn't have the charts I haven't went through the whole thing I just got it so I don't really know but this will help you better understand the scripture you're trying to unlock trying to un you know unveil the hidden meaning these commentaries are amazing for that especially this one this wow Wow, I, I'm telling you, I love to write. So just having ex these extra little tools in my collection to help me just split open a scripture in so many ways, using so many different tools. You guys, wow. All right, sorry I didn't share this the first time. This is the Crossways Con Concordance IBM number. This is all the goodies that you will find in the back. Well, in the inside of it, it's on the back. I hope my voice and everything is still okay. I, it just, I had my, my son had an ROTC, um, a reward ceremony last night and we were out late. It was super, super cold. So that's just why my voice and everything is, is out right now. All right. Let me share this one. I will try to find all of these and leave them in the link below. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. If you do have any, any questions, you guys, as always, please continue to ask them. I will do my best to help you. I do hope this was helpful and you're no longer sitting there. What is each of these and how do I use them? <laughs> all right, I love you all. You all have an amazing day. Remember, be a creative tool in our Father's Art Box today, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.